Woods galore, greens galore. Everything round up with a unique Italian style. Do you want to know more about Bulgari Wood Essence? Stay with me and discover it. Welcome back. I'm Javier and today I'm going to be speaking about a very polarizing fragrance, at least in my region. And this is because of its price and its performance. So today we're going to be speaking about Bulgari Wood Essence. And this fragrance, I'll tell you my first impressions about this and my journey wearing it um, throughout the lockdown and throughout these uh, very difficult days we've been living and I'll tell you my pros and cons and the pros and cons I find uh, wearing this one. First of all, this is a fragrance in the same family of the woody fragrances and uh, I'll, I'll, I'll put it into the woody aromatic ones and so each shares the same category with Aqua di Parma Colonia Intensa, uh, the popular Vacuum Mortale by Argos and Comme des Garçons Wonderwood. And this was created uh, for Bulgari by the one and only Alberto Moriles. And as many of you know, probably some of you who are um, starting the journey and learning about fragrances, this is the guy um, behind uh, pretty much all the Bulgari Man line and behind many of the very successful designer fragrances of modernity. So the juice is very green as you can see in the bottle. Uh, but don't worry, I'm wearing a white shirt and I assure you it won't stain your shirt. So you guys shouldn't be worrying about it. I remember my first experience when I, when I first smelled it, when I just discovered this one. I was looking to change my, my signature fragrance. So I decided to go to this department store in, in Bogota and started sniffing around. And this lady uh, suggested, you know, have you tried this one? And I'm, okay, let's give it a sniff. And to me, it was it was something unique at the moment. I was speaking about uh, last year, 2019, and um, it was amazing to me. It was on the blotter. You could smell a very citrusy thing, a very citrusy smell. To me, it was very appealing because. Colombia is a very warm country so if you're in a in a summer season or if you live in a very warm area I think this one will uh, perform very well and will be will be a winner but the first time so I decided to buy it later online when I got a deal because funnily enough this bottle 100 ml bottle um, for my country is quite expensive for the average people I would say I mean if you are if you're in a minimum wage you wouldn't be able to afford it to be honest so anyway I got it in a deal always always try to pay here a parenthesis always try to get deals on fragrances never pay full retail price unless it comes with a promotion but most likely you will find it one way or another in a deal and even with uh, some bargain with some perks so anyhow I decided to buy it and the first time I wore it uh, it was quite su surprising because I remember we were watching with my girlfriend wife we were watching the two popes on Netflix 
and uh, I remember, you know, I just came out of the shower, I sprayed it, and she's, she was immediately telling me, what are you wearing? You smelling like one of these guys. So, you know, it was quite shocking because she associated it with the old man's smell, you know, the Pope. To me, it was a downer. You know, I decided to leave it, to leave it, uh, you know, in the drawer and probably give it some more time. Uh, but yeah, definitely when I first spread it as well, I got this old fashioned smell, uh, very woody. So to me, I didn't feel identified with the fragrance at that moment because I felt it was for a more senior person than... However, I've been giving it a chance this quarantine and funnily enough, it's been, it's been amazing. I've been discovering its nuances, its, its development throughout the day. And at first spray, today I'm not wearing anything, so I'm just gonna spray it. At first spray, it opens very fresh, to be honest. It has this, yes, this mature smell at the very beginning, the very opening, but then it probably around 30, 40 seconds later, it opens very, very fresh, very citrusy. Um, so I found, you know, very fresh, rich elements, very powerful in the opening, but then as, as the time passes, uh, it is a very cozy fragrance, it's very warming, and uh, it has some resinous accords as well, that gives you this warmth and this uh, kind of sweetness around. You know, it balances the citrus opening with the middle, woods and then everything is is rounded in my opinion by that that resinous accord so you find of course lemon and citrus notes at the opening uh, fragrantica leaves coriander but i haven't got it yet and and yeah to me it was very fresh and then it developed into into very woody scent uh, with cedar notes and with the vetiver, which is also probably around the 30, 40 minutes mark, you find some vetiver around. It is not very strong one because of the citrus, I think, and because of these, these resinous smells. So I think it is not very, very punchy vetiver, but you can still smell it. And it is definitely a green fragrance. So, so yeah, I think it is very fresh and, and then I found it is not as an old, a, a DNA for an old person as I thought. So I've changed my mind on that one. Uh, so yeah, and then it is rounded by some benzoin and resinous accords, um, giving it a Swedish, a Swedish base at the end of the fragrance. It does last for around five hours. This is an eau de parfum concentration, so it is it is very. I mean, it is the strong one of the strongest ones for designers. However, I feel that when you wear it in very cold days, it doesn't get to shine. Uh, this is a fragrance designed, in my opinion, for warm weather. For, yeah, for hot, hot to warm and very humid weather. Uh, let's say you're in probably uh, traveling to the Everglades. This is the perfect scent because it will match the greens and the uh, humid weather and this warmth. So I think if you live in that conditions and probably even I've tried to do some exercise at home to do some routine and I found it you know very very nice to work out with 
Well, presentation wise, this is a bottle identical to the to the Bulgari Man line. You know, they just they they stick to their guns there in the design. However, I I really don't like the the atomizer. I, I don't know if all the bottles come with this atomizer, but I've tried a couple in the store from from other other scents, Bulgari Man Black, and all the atomizers, at least the ones that arrive here, are not very good. They they don't atomize very well. And in my opinion, they they instead of spraying they squirt so it is a it is a squirt basically i'm not sure if you're going to be able to to see this you you can see it is a shame because in in america and in europe you can get it for a very reasonable price but that's a downer the atomizer is definitely not good there uh, you can you can find it in the official Bulgari site for hundred thirteen dollars, but of course you can get it at discounters for much less. Um, I think for that amount of money, you can get better performing uh, products, better performing fragrances. So if you're a collector. Probably yes, get it. If you really love green scents, why not get it? I got it because I loved it at first time on the blotter. But today, I think I wouldn't pay full price for this bottle. Um, probably that would be my, my advice to you guys. Uh, try always to find a better, better price, whatever in the world you live. Uh, yeah, even though Bulgari is known for being a luxury designer. Thank you guys for sticking through the end. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe uh, to see more reviews like this. I promise I'll be, I'll be uploading more often now. And um, yeah, this is from the common to the common man. Please share your thoughts down below. I want to read your comments on this fragrance. Will you buy it? Uh, have you tried? Uh, what can you share about your experience wearing this one? Thank you again and see you next time.